Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And in today's video, I am opening up a very special package from my friend Mary of the Craft Roulette channel. She just released her very first and hopefully not last stamp set, and she didn't send me just one not two, but three stamp sets. So today I'm gonna be using one to make a card and I'm gonna be giving two away to you. This stamp set from Craft Roulette, which is called The Basics, is full of just fun images and sentiments that if you're a regular Craft Roulette viewer, you're definitely gonna recognize. Not only do you have the different color wheels with pie shapes to fill them in, but there are some words and cute little images that if you're ever in the chatter box, which is what they call the live chat during their shows, you've definitely heard about these and know about them. Now, don't worry if you've never heard of Craft Roulette, I am going to tell you more about it. And I know that after seeing today's stamp set and hearing more about the show, that you're definitely going to want to check them out. So down in the description box, I do have the links to their channel here on YouTube, their Facebook group, and their Instagram account. And speaking of checking them out, if this is your first time to my channel, I do hope that by the end of the video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below. And if you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Since we're mostly going to be chatting about Craft Roulette today and what it is, I won't be doing a voiceover like normal where I share about the process of the card. But I will tell you now, I just did some basic masking and because the circle was exactly the same size as a punch I have, which you'll see later, I just used some post-it notes for my masks and I was able to reuse them for the entire background. Now if you do have any questions on the process, feel free Free to leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. But for now, let's go ahead and find out about Craft Roulette. Craft Roulette is a live improv card making challenge show here on YouTube and it is usually every Friday night and it is hosted and was created by Mary Gunn. Now, she does have lots of help in the background from her son, Steven, a.k.a. Mr. Producer. And let me tell you, the show just keeps getting better. He is so great at websites and technology and running those live streams. So you'll hear from him from time to time in those live shows. Each week, she brings on a special crafty guest and they spin for parameters, four of them, and create a new project on the spot. The parameters they spin for are project, colors, element, and then random. And let me tell you, sometimes these combinations are wacky, but they also really get you creating, maybe thinking outside of the box, using some of the products that you haven't used in a while, if ever. Up on screen now is a card that I created for the most recent challenge, episode 165, which I will link below. And the parameters spun that night were card with flaps, winter colors, children's story, and tiles. Now, normally I would have not thought to put those elements together, but I am in love with how my card turned out. As Mary and her guest crafter create their projects during the night, they chat with each other and with the audience, or the chatterbox as they call it, and we also get to learn lots more about the guest crafter. Some of the guests in the past have been myself, which I have been on nine times, and I will have a playlist linked in the description box below so you can go check out some of my episodes. But she has had Kathy Zilski, Gina Kay, Amanda Stevens, Biddy Penny, Ardith, so many crafters that I could not begin to name them all. So also in the description box, I will have a link to the full craft roulette playlist and go and maybe look for one of your favorite artists or if you have a favorite number, maybe you could check out that episode first. 
I have mentioned them a couple times already, but I do just want to tell you a little bit more and give a shout out to the Chatterbox. And that is the live audience each week who are always chatting and having fun in the comments. Now, if you're kind of worried about coming over and watching, don't be. Everybody seriously is so welcoming and kind. Uh, you're going to say, hey, this is my first time, and then you're going to get so many shout outs, and you can just join right in on the fun like you've been there for tons of episodes. And not only can you watch and chat along each week, but you can also make your own new project inspired by the parameters. And if you get it done and photographed and submitted in time, you'll be entered to win a prize during the next week's live. And let me tell you, they have some great prizes, so I think you'll want to play along. And I just want to kind of give you a heads up. You might see a parameter and be like, I have nothing for that. But the parameters are flexible. You know, for instance, for children's story, I used an Alice in Wonderland theme stamp set, but my sister just used some jungle animal die cuts, just different animals, and she said she was inspired by the Jungle Book. So it doesn't necessarily have to fit it 100%. You can interpret it. Just if you think there might be confusion, you can leave those in the comments when you upload your photo. But I think all of us as crafters are gonna have something that we can use to fit those parameters. So if you haven't already, I definitely hope you will give it a try. And hey, if you win a prize, that's a bonus. And speaking of a bonus, like I mentioned in the intro, I am giving away my two extra stamp sets today in this video. Now I'll be telling you how you can enter, but let me tell you first, you do need to be at least 18 years old and a subscriber to my channel. Because these are thin, I will ship international. So make sure to get entered. And to do that, there's gonna be two winners. So I want to give a stamp set away to a long time or even a one time craft roulette watcher. And then the other one I want to give away to a newbie or somebody who has never watched an episode. I will need those who want to enter to leave a specific comment with a specific hashtag and please only enter one time. If I do see double comments, I will delete the additional ones. If you're a regular viewer or have seen one or more episodes of Craft Roulette, I'm calling you Fun Fans. To enter to win the stamp set for fun fans, let me know in the comment section below either your favorite guest crafter, your favorite parameter, or even your least favorite parameter. And in that comment, make sure to put the hashtag, hashtag fun fans, just like you see it above. It has to have those double ends, and then I will draw one lucky winner from those comments. Now, if you're a craft roulette newbie or somebody who has never watched it before, I want you to let me know in your comment below which episode you would most like to watch first. So you'll go check out the craft roulette channel and then see which one catches your eye and come back here and let me know. In your comment, you'll want to include the hashtag, hashtag CRNewbie, again, just like it shows above. All interested subscribers will have until midnight on June 18th, 2023 to leave their comment for a chance to win. I will either post a winner on my community tab or make a video probably that week after. Now the original winners will have one week to contact me to claim their prize. And if they haven't by then, I will redraw one time for the winners. Good luck and happy crafting. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I put together today's card and learning a little bit more about Craft Roulette. Don't forget to follow the instructions in the video to enter the giveaway and make sure to check out the Craft Roulette channel, which I have linked in that description box below. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. 
And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.